Sasha, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am going to be showing you guys what I have recently picked up from Princess Polly. I do so many Princess Polly hauls on my channel and I am lucky enough to be working with them on this video again today. So massive thanks to Princess Polly for sending me out all the items in this haul. I love you guys so much, I love your products so much and I know that you guys um, love my haul so much so I just keep on doing them. So I have a massive box of stuff here to show you with some really cool like new releases from the Princess Polly website which I'm so excited to try out and as always I have a discount code for you guys so if you use this code on site it'll get you guys 20% off everything and I'm going to link everything in the description box down below as per usual. I feel like I was just talking forever. Let's get on into what I picked up. So the first item I got is this really cute little white crop top. I actually have this in orange and grey and I love the shape of it um, so much. I just love the little spaghetti straps. It's so soft and comfortable so I decided to pick it up again in a different colour. Um, another little top that I got, sorry it's just got like the packaging on it because I literally got this in the mail today and I just got home from work and I was like I have to film this this afternoon because I want to start wearing all the stuff but I want to make sure that it's nice and new and fresh for you guys in this video so I came straight home to film this haul. The next item that I got is this little white boob, boob? <laughs> little white boob tube. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a sweat massage. <laughs> guys, it's so warm. Maybe I can use this to like blow it. This is so gross. I'm so sorry. It's so, so cute. I feel like this is just the perfect little crop top for the beach or a festival or something. I'm going to Sydney City Limits this weekend, so maybe I will wear that one. Who knows? I'm so excited. It is the best lineup ever. I think it'll be up after City Limits, so if you guys went to City Limits, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, the next item I have, though, is this gorgeous beach bag. How pretty is this? This is like Asha in her bag. <laughs> I just love crochet, I love boho things if you guys don't already know and I really needed a big bag to just take with me to the beach because uh, I live quite close to the beach now which I'm so excited about but I always just end up taking like a little tote bag or something because I don't have anything that's big enough to just carry down with me with my towel and stuff. Also can summer not end? Like summer you just need to hang around a little bit longer. The next piece I am so excited about and I was tempted to pick this up in different colors but I thought that might be a little bit too much. I think they have it in white and blue as well. It's this really pretty little spaghetti strap sundress. So the top of the dress is like ruched and then it just goes all the way down to like it's like a mini dress so it's a little bit above your knees. Um, it's like a wraparound style which is really cute and it just looks so flattering on the model on the website so Hopefully it'll look flattering on me as well. Has a tie around the waist and it's also a linen fabric. So this is gonna be super breathable for the rest of summer, which hopefully is going to be warm for a little bit longer. I love this color as well. I've been so into yellow the past year, which um, I never used to buy anything yellow. So I don't know, just been liking the yellow. Okay, let me move away from the clothes for a little bit and show you guys some accessories. Oh no, I'm gonna show you something. That is like one of the, f this probably will seem a little bit weird to a lot of you guys, but this is the first time I have ever bought something like this in like four years. So guys, I bought a pair of heels. And to some of you that might just be like, cool Usher, that's, that's awesome. I am six foot tall, so I never wear heels. The last time I wore heels was my high school my high school graduation in 2012 but there are a lot of events in Sydney uh, like beauty events and fashion events and stuff and I just feel like I need something a little bit more dressy to wear so if I can brace the fact that I'm gonna be like 6'2 in these then I definitely think I'll get a lot of wear out of them and I wanted to go for a heel that wasn't super tall so that I wasn't a complete giant even though I already am without heels um, and something also quite chunky so it's easy for me to walk in because I feel like no matter what because I never wear heels I'm going to look like ridiculous walking in heels. Oh, so now I have a beauty product So this is a product that Princess Polly has recently launched on their website And as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to try it out. It is the Fenola. I think it's Fenola. Fenola? 
Finola um, No Yellow Shampoo. So this is a purple shampoo, but it's meant to be absolutely amazing. And I have blonde hair. It's actually a little bit pink or rose goldy at the moment. But usually I have blonde hair, so I'm always on the lookout for a really nice purple shampoo that's going to keep my hair from um, being brassy. So... I'm so excited to try this one. So the next accessory I picked, accessory, am I saying that right? Accessory? Accessory? You know when you say a word over so many times that it just sounds like absolute gibberish, that gibberish? <laughs> absolute gibberish, that is what accessory sounds like to me right now. Anyway, I picked up this uh, black silver buckle belt of the Princess Polly site. It's just this black leather material um, with this little silver clasp on the end. And the reason I picked this up is because I just wanted a really simple belt that I could wear with everything. I'm a massive lover of like the Western belts with the buckles on the front of them, like the really big chunky ones, and I've worn them for years. But I actually don't have a really simple basic belt in my wardrobe. Uh, the next thing I picked up is the Loving Tan in Dark two hour express tan the loving tan ultra dark one that's not two hours like six hours or whatever it is is my favorite tan like ever um, and I've always heard so much good stuff about the two hour express so I thought that I would finally give it a go after using loving tan for like the past two years so I'm really excited to try this one it is only in the dark but I think if I just do an extra layer or something it should be fun and give me a nice dark tan. Next I actually picked up a pair of earrings and again stepping out of my comfort zone I usually don't wear earrings but I just thought these were so cute that I had to pick them up. They're these really pretty little moon drop earrings so they look so elegant I need to try them on. Hopefully my earring holes haven't closed up. I haven't worn earrings in such a long time. Next up is actually a phone case. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It has these little palm trees on the back and it's in these gorgeous pastel shades. You can never find iPhone 7 Plus cases online. So when I went on Princess Polly and they had heaps of iPhone 7 Plus cases, I was absolutely stoked. So I'm really excited to put this on my phone because I haven't had a new phone case in a really long time. Next, I have a beauty product, which when I saw the name of this and who had created it, I was like, I need that. It is called the Blind the Haters Highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics. So Princess Polly recently launched, launched? <laughs> recently launched Ofra on their website and I was so excited because I've heard so much about the brand but I've actually never tried it. And this particular highlighter is highlighter. I can't talk. I really just cannot talk. This particular highlighter is actually um, created and designed by Nikki Tutorials who I love watching on YouTube and it is stunning. Look how gorgeous that is. I think I'm going to have to wear this to the festival I'm going to this weekend as well. Oh my god. Look at it. I think it actually smashed in the mail because it's covered in a bit of dust but it doesn't seem too bad so I'll just clean it up and it'll be fine. So that is it for accessories. I have a few more clothing items to show you guys and then we are all done. So the next piece I am so excited for this. I was at work today and one of the girls I worked with tried it on and I had to just like get the torch out on my phone and shine it on the top to show the full effect. Oh, it looks so good on camera. Look at it. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Like, oh my gosh. Obviously this is like the most extra top you could ever wear, but I think I'm gonna have to wear this to Sydney City Limits on the weekend. Like. How could you not want to wear this to a festival? Um, and then I've got a few more clothing items. So since, sadly, as much as I don't want to admit that it's going to be getting colder, I figured that I would stock up on some, a couple of warmer items in my wardrobe because every single year I never want to admit that summer is over and I just buy tiny little tops and tiny little dresses. And then it gets to March and I'm like, it's cold <laughs> and I have nothing to wear. Uh, so. Firstly, I picked up this off-the-shoulder black little jumper. It's quite a thick material, but it's also super soft. So this will be perfect to tuck into little dresses and jeans and stuff. And I really, really love the sleeves on this because they split. So can't wait to style that one up. It isn't cold enough yet, but I'm sure it will get colder soon. And then the next um, warm weather item that I picked up 
is just this basic little black turtleneck but it has ribbed material and also a bell sleeve because I love a bell sleeve. The thing that I loved about this is that it's quite sheer so you could still wear it throughout all of winter but you could also style it with a little bralette or something underneath that can peek through or like a coloured bralette that would look really cute. This is the final item and it's a really good one. I love this. Oh the back's come undone but I'll show you guys when I try it on. So it's this gorgeous little red linen dress. So this is what it looks like. It just ruches in at your waist and goes all the way down. It's like a little mini style. I really like that the back of this is elastic because my hips are a lot bigger than my waist so a lot of the times when I buy dresses or skirts and everything I feel like I've explained this in so many videos but usually the waist will be quite wide on me so I always look for items that have a ruched material because they're usually a lot tighter. So that is the final item. I love red just one of my favorite colors. So again, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to the team at Princess Polly for sending me out all these items. I'm so incredibly grateful for you guys for stocking my wardrobe pretty much. Like I would say about 80% of my wardrobe is Princess Polly because I just love Princess Polly so much. Again, I will have all of the items linked in the description box for you guys to go and pick up if you would like to, as well as the following code. That'll be down there too. So once again, you can use that on site to get 20% off everything. I think that's everything I have to say. I have been talking for a while, so my voice is like, you suck. Oh, and guys, I got a plant. Do you like it? I always kill plants. Like, I'm not kidding you. I will kill a cactus. <laughs> And I've managed to not kill this one, so I'm really proud of myself. That is completely off topic, so I'm going to head off. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night where you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I would like to get to know if I